Okay, so I pretty much got my got my new monitor. It's supposed to be from LG and it's called as 32GN650 as I remember. It costs about like $410 as I guess. Like, yeah. Well, it's much more cheaper than the monitor that I currently have. I mean, that I had. I mean, the monitor that I had was about like $900, so that's a lot of money lost, so I feel pretty painful about that. And also, I got a new headset. It's called as the Cursor Void, and this thing, setting up this, I mean, setting on this thing is so damn hard. Like, I, I just got stressed out because I was setting this, I mean, while I was setting this, and I just got, it didn't set up so well, it just didn't get that kind of good audio quality that I desired, so yeah. So, that's why I pretty much just broke my monitor. But now I pretty much fixed up, fixed the problem, and I know how to fix the problem now about this kind of, this headset. Like, this problem is that, like, if you just didn't use this I mean, if you just buy this first time and just adapt it to your computer, and then you just pretty much have to download a software, you know, the software of this headset. And well, as you download the software, the sound is really bad. Like, the sound is really, like, you know, like, it's anyways really bad. If you just buy it and if you just know it, you will know that the sound of this is really terrible. So, like, I tried to fix it. I tried to fix it. I tried to just do do something about the EQ. And I finally figured out that the EQ, you don't need it. Like, well, the software program, you do need it because you just have to turn off the audio. What what should I say? The, the system that just makes you hear your voice with your microphone. Yeah, that kind of, that kind of system. I mean, that kind of... What should I say? That kind of program, I guess. Like, that kind of program. And if you delete the software program, that, yeah, that... Just keep here your voice. So, like, one solution to actually get your sound clear with this headphone was to... Delete the software and then delete the driver of the headphone. But I don't think deleting the software program wasn't so good because, yeah, it didn't... Yeah, it just got my microphone sound just literally heard into me. So, yeah, it was pretty terrible. And what? And I installed the software program again and it just got fixed. Yeah. So, if you just get this one, what you just have to remember is delete the driver. Delete the driver. Let me tell you how to do it. So, so get into get to the control panel. Control panel like this and uh, just get into here as I guess. Get in, into here and get into the sound. Maybe like here and then you just have to go to your this section and then just press this. I'm not, I'm using Korean so I'm not sure about English options so yeah anyways. If you just go here, well, it doesn't have any software or anything, so, I mean, you might, you should find a software, like, you should find a driver or something. You should definitely find a driver, maybe it's like this, I guess. Yeah, so, if you just get here, delete the driver, delete it, then your sounds would get better. Like, well, I mean, you just shouldn't do it on the microphone, you just have to do it on the headset, you just go here to the general and then just go here. And yeah, delete the driver and it just gets off though. Yeah, if you have, are just pretty much having same problem with this headphone, that this headphone sound is really bad, just simply delete the driver. Like here. Yeah, so anyways. Yeah, I fixed everything. Well, I mean, I still feel bad, but yeah, anyways, things are back.